Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another video. And this one, we're going to be talking a little bit about Ember Fund. So, as you all remember, I had done a beer money review on Ember Fund not too long ago. And there was one little thing that I had noticed that was sort of a pretty big change compared to the Ember Fund that I remember when I last cashed out. And that involves going up here to the top left, this little Bitcoin rewards uh, button here. Click that. And then we're going to go to Sat Rewards. And then here you see that we have a... Uh, there's two different types of um, bins now that the Satoshi go into. And that is the playthrough sats and the redeemable sats. So some of you are probably wondering what this stands for. And for those of you who know what social casinos are and have watched my video on social casinos, you probably know exactly what this means. So this change started roughly one month ago and it involves this new concept they have that is very social casino-like, by the way, called Playthrough Satoshi. So um, they said it was a month ago, but I think it might have started a little bit more recently than that. I don't know. Anyway, um, so the balance on Ember Fund is now divided into two categories. You have Playthrough Satoshi and Redeemable Satoshi. So uh, to view this split, you simply, well, we went over that already, tap on your Satoshi Rewards wallet. And basically, um, you have to unlock your playthrough stats in order for them to become redeemable for you to cash out on. So now you can no longer just get the Satoshi for free. What you have to do is you have to play with one of their, you know, gambling-ish kind of games. So the 100% contribution rate, and we'll talk about the difference in the contribution rate in a little bit, is the paid tournaments and paid predictions. And this explains a lot as to why they changed their predictions uh, earlier in the month. Uh, that is brand new, and I mentioned about that. Um, however, the games like Mines, Plinko, Spinner, Crash, and Dice have a 10% contribution rate. So that means that for every 100 Satoshi that you manage to bet on these games, you will only get 10 of them redeemable. So this now explains in that review exactly why a lot of the paid tournaments and paid predictions had such a high rake. I think they had a rake of something like 12 to 15% over here. And then if you're playing one of these games, they have slightly better odds. And what I had originally uh, told you all, what I would have originally advised if it was all 100% contribution rate, would just be to play dice because dice has a 1% house edge. Well, if we do the math for that now, we find that we have to actually play through our Satoshi 10 times over in order to get that money back. So it's not just a 1% house edge anymore. It becomes closer to almost a 10% house edge, which kind of runs in line with the paid tournaments and paid predictions. Maybe it's a little bit better, but not by much. And if they ever figure that out, I have a feeling that they might lower the contribution rates for those as well. Well, you know, I'm making this video for a reason for you guys to know what to expect. So basically, this forces us to have to play their games in order to get our Satoshi out now. Um, there are two ways that I recommend doing this, and I do want to talk about, um, I have a little bit of personal thoughts regarding this afterward but let's talk I, i'm gonna go first and tell you guys about the best ways to do it and the best way i think that you should do it is to go on dice and just do 50 50 but the minimum amount of satoshi just like this uh, matter of fact let me go to uh let me go back to my ones here sorry you can see the difference here so you see i have 1213 satoshi to play through all right so now i'm gonna go back to my games there's my games uh dice and then we're going to do 50-50. I'm going to bring this down to uh, 200. I'm just going to play three times. One, two, and three. Ooh, I just barely. I'll do two more. One and two. All right. Then I'm going to go back here. Now I've bet 1,000, so it should be Go in here. Uh, we'll go to uh, Satoshi Rewards. I'm going to refresh that. And, oh, according to this, I actually have played through about 440 Satoshi. So that's not too terrible, actually. So you can actually play through 
you can actually go ahead and play through this, but that is one of the ways that you can do it. And actually, let's see, 200, if I bet a thousand and I got 450, uh, 450 already played through, uh, I think they're counting probably the two that I lost. So that might be part of it. Um, they are counting the two that I lost. And then of those that you win, whatever your profit is, you probably have to play that through. Okay, so that's not as bad as I thought it would be. And actually, this would make the dice wager probably the best option of the two. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the second one anyway. And that is to go do predictions and go to the, any of these right here and just find the favorite. And the best way to find the favorite of each of the games is if you go to, let's say, um, I will show, okay, we'll do the Denver Nuggets and the Los Angeles Clippers. And you see here the multiplier on the Denver Nuggets is 1.29x. Um, that indicates that um, there is a 1.29 times you will get that much back because they are heavy favorites to win. And the Los Angeles Clippers are 3.75x. So you want to resist having to go for the underdogs because there's actual science that I had been reading that if you always bet the favorite in sports betting, you actually do get more of your money back overall. But that is like over a broad spectrum. That means you have to bet in every, on like every game a little bit at a time. So um, I'm going by that, and I would say always bet the favorite. So I'm going to bet here for the Denver Nuggets. I'm just going to put 200, and I'm going to submit my entry. And there you go. Uh, the bet has been made. So, um, and then you just kind of wait for the results to come in and you'll be able to collect your winnings. If the Denver Nuggets manage to win, I will get 258 Satoshi. Oh, and by the way, you're going to want to get those predictions down as soon as you can, because if you don't, something like this could happen. And this happens, um, almost always with the favorites. Uh, let me go to Lakers and Suns here. And you see here that the favorites, the Lakers, Enough of them have already chosen them, and it seems that uh, Ember Fund has kind of caught on to this, that a lot of people usually choose the favorites, the heavy favorites especially. Um, this one, not quite as heavy of a favorite, but yeah, they seem to have closed the favorites option, so you can only choose the underdog. They're also going to start a change in about a few weeks, and I just noticed this. Um, as of November 15th, they're going to make changes to the referral system that will impact how you earn. So uh, they have mentioned that they uh, that they offer an additional one Satoshi an hour. This is their legacy referral boost. Um, so I'm not quite sure what that legacy referral boost is. I, I assume this means that you get one Satoshi an hour for every referral, including yourself, I believe. So um, this means that you're going to be making a little less Satoshi each month based off of the amount that you have. I'm not sure if it's like one Satoshi less or if it's one Satoshi per referral less. So um, with that letting you know that, yeah, you're probably going to be making a little bit less, but I think you'll still be making uh, the usual 12 Satoshi an hour from me if you get use my referral code, but you won't be making that extra one. So yeah, you will have 288 Satoshi to work with. And it's because of these things, so my personal opinion on this all, and I'm going to go actually kind of click back here to um, the emulator and click this out. Um, so my opinion regarding this is this is a sudden change for Ember Fund. They used to call themselves like an investment firm or sort of like a crypto investment thing where you can actually kind of go to Bitcoin rewards. And you can still do this, by the way. You can still invest in their portfolios like the originals or cream which is um those five stocks looks like um so that there, there's certain there's certain things that you can still do that involve investing in crypto the problem that i'm having with all of this is that they have now made it so that you have no other choice but to risk and they're hoping that that psychology of gambling comes into play that will make you eventually lose it all and you have to constantly go back to satoshi rewards and check to make sure that you've played through all your satoshi in order to be able to cash out and if you mess up for any reason you could potentially lose money that you've already earned this is a problem i don't like this I don't like that they are trying to change the psychology from being a crypto investment, which, all right, you want to introduce people to crypto, that's cool. You want free crypto, that's cool as well, 
into basically a crypto social casino. And I'm not a big fan of that. Um, honestly, I don't know how they get by with this in the states of Washington, Michigan. I, I assume it's because uh, they don't count crypto as money. So I guess you could technically do that in those two states. I don't know. But um, this is this is very weird. This is a very weird direction that they're taking. And um, I know I gave them a blue rating on literally the previous video when I brought back Beer Money Reports. But I would actually have to, and you probably noticed this on the Beer Money Reports um, page, I have downgraded them to yellow. Uh, I'm putting them on watch basically because I don't know what they're going to do next. What are their plans? I know they're going to start taking away more free stuff. So that part I do know. The legacy referral boost, they're going to take that away. Well, you know, one Satoshi an hour, that's whatever. But if they start taking away like other free stuff or making it so that you have to actually put in your own money to get in, it doesn't become an app that introduces people to crypto anymore. It just becomes a social casino. And I don't cover social casinos on this channel. Now, yeah, that'll allow you to be eligible for Beer Money Mania, this little voting tournament we're going to have in March, because I'm going to allow social casinos to be a part of that tournament as well. But this, this, all this, like this low roller and stuff, you're trying to push people into these 10, 15% house edge tournaments, these uh, predictions, uh, these games that they only that they have to play 10 times over. Basically, you're trying to just shave away the free stuff that they can get. And they're not really getting much free stuff to begin with. I mean, they were only getting something like 200 and, well, let's see, they were getting something like 300 and... 12 satoshi a day which turns out to be about 20 i think like 22 or 23 cents at the time of this video and you're cutting that down by november 15th and i calculated this to about 260 on average just the expected value 260 satoshi a day uh which is a drop to 18 cents so 23 cents which was already kind of uh you know you can probably get better value elsewhere now you're lowering that even further I'm kind of putting you on watch. It's yellow. If they fall below, I would say like, you know, 10 to 12 cents per day of Satoshi free without referrals or anything, um, then I'll probably put them in the red. But in the meantime, y'all, this is exactly why I talk about too, like you don't want to stay tied to one beer money app at a time. These beer money apps always deflate over time. All of them. Matter of fact, it is absolutely amazing that we have several apps on this channel that we talk about that have stayed relatively consistent or have gotten better over time. Most of the time, that does not happen. Most of the time, stuff like this happens. And if you don't agree with me, you should go take a look at Swagbucks's latest Swago board, and you should see how badly that has nerfed. Good luck trying to get a bonus out of that one without having to pay a significant amount of money. Anyway, everyone, um, that's pretty much the video. That's pretty much all I had to say. Um, look. I'm not even going to put a referral down. I mean, I have a referral on the Beer Money Review, but I am going to link people to this video on that Beer Money Review video as sort of a warning to everyone so that way y'all know that I, you know, don't say I didn't warn you regarding this, this sudden change of um, how Ember Fund is doing business these days. I, I don't know. I'm very disappointed in Ember Fund. I'll just say that. I'm very disappointed in them, but it's to be expected. Um, honestly, I wish I could report more uh, like this, but I, you know, I'm constantly busy. I have a full-time job as it is. So um, I've been putting out way more videos than I had expected for someone with a side job. But part of that is because of the Beer Money Brew. If you go check that out, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern on Saturdays. Okay, that's enough shilling. I'm going to head out of here. If you like this video, please give it a like. Comment on what you think about Ember Fund and these sudden changes. Um, maybe some of you don't think of this as uh, dramatically as I do on this one um, and not as disappointed about it because maybe some of you are already doing some of that. I don't know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. And I will see you all around. This is Feral Silver signing out. See you next time.